Hey guys, how we doing? Hey, I got a couple clips here. Uh, it was actually on the ride along video for a week, but I wanted to break them out and put them in a in another video to themselves and retitle it something I don't know yet. Uh, so whatever it was, you clicked on it. It'll be something to do with a uh, secure and coil. So watch these two. There's three. I don't know if I want to put two or three in. I got to go back and watch them. But anyways, I remember what they're about. What? Pay attention when you're securing coils. One of these, as I explained, can cost you a lot of money in fines. And the second thing can kill you. So I'll go ahead and watch that. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd uh, shoot a little intro for it. Some of you may have seen it. Some of you uh, who didn't watch the week-long video is just clicking on it now. Just a couple pro tips for you. All right, see you, bye. All right, man, we got a couple great learning things about to show you here. First of all, here's this guy, okay? Two coil racks. Now, we've talked about this, so what do you think is going to happen when he gets checked by the DOT? and a DOT guy catches that. First, he's gonna get a big fine, thousands of dollars. Second, they'll shut him down, he can't leave, and he'll have to call a wrecker out to pick this coil up, and he'll have to put more coil racks under there before they'll let him leave. Train coming over there. So what do you think that's gonna cost? A lot. Now, let's get back over here. So here's what I was going to show you. When it's just a 40,000 pound coil, I could probably get away with just four chains, but I'm going to do four chains and a strap just to be safe. Now, it just so happens, you don't get this very often, but you guys always got to be looking for stuff. This is a disaster waiting to happen if you don't catch it. You see the lip of that coil, that thin metal sticking out? Okay, now I just threw my chains and strap on to get out, go scale, and come over here to where I tarp and everything. What I gotta do is loosen up my chains, take the strap off, and I gotta get my big hammer out and bend that over. Or try to pound it back in, and I'll tell you why. See how the band's bending it up there and everything? Well, I leave it like that, bounce it down the road, that lip will bend over and everything will come loose and a disaster could happen. Uh, that coil could come loose, get to move and bust the chains or kill somebody. Up with the train horn. So, as you can see, this lip's sticking out pretty good. Okay? Don't just throw your chains on that and go. That's a thin lip. I don't even have my chains on. If I go over there and crank on the binders, I can bend that over some, but not enough. I'm going to get out my hammer and tap that back in or at least flatten it out. Okay, so there's two good learning things for you guys. Don't be this guy, okay? And don't do, don't miss this. I will see you in a bit. This is why I carry a little sledgehammer. It's also my uh, tire thumper. All right, did you see how I got that all bent over? That'll be fine. Look how much that could have been. That would have bent in going down the road bouncing. Your chains would have been completely loose. So don't get in a rush, guys. If you don't have a hammer, tell them to help you or refuse the coil. But tell them, hey, you gotta bend that over or cut it off or something. Don't accept it. Um, if I wouldn't have had the hammer or something before before that crane man, I would have said, no, you take that off and get a sawzall and trim that up or get them to get a hammer and bend it over, whatever. But when I saw it, I'm like, ah, I can bend that with my little hammer, so we're good to go. And it don't hurt nothing, you know? They, they, they got it all cut up there with the band, so there'll be a little loss on this coil anyway. So now that's all bent over, we'll get her secured and get on down the road. I didn't look, but ah, this is a finished coil. And it's gonna have to be a tarp, so we'll shoot as we go. Always be looking, guys. This could be a bad, bad day for you and somebody else. All right, see you, bye. 
Uh, now you can see that's all bent over and sucked up tight. Chains aren't gonna come loose. Hey, here's another DOT fresh out of school thing they can get you on. Never bottom out your binders. You need to leave three, I got four, or at least a quarter inch, I think, if they measure, if they inspect you. And your chain's gotta be tight. This is tight. If that comes loose and I gotta do more than about a turn, I'll either have to cheat and bottom it out and hope I don't get caught or loosen the whole thing up and redo it. But we're good for now. So, four chains and a strap. Strap's good for eight grand. Double spooled, that's 13.2 worth of securement. Stake pocket, that's uh, 10,800 pounds, 10,800 pounds, 13,200 pounds. So we got way more securement than we need, but you never want less. Always have more. Or you could do five chains. The reason I did a strap is when I get to where I'm going, if it's flat and I'm waiting in line, I can rip these chains off and just leave the strap on to move around slowly and then when I pull in I can get that strap off lickety split much faster than a chain alright y'all we're going to tarp it up we'll show you that again that won't be any different than last time then we're going to head for the house alright see you in a bit alright guys here we go another one bagged up nothing any different just clean. Gotta get all these lines straight. No bungees out the rail. Looking good going down the road. All right, it's nine o'clock. I've been here two hours. That held up. There's three or four trucks ahead of me loading. That's just the way it goes sometimes. So I am going to nine o'clock. Yeah, I'll be home by noon. Pretty sure I'm gonna get in here and uh, make me a couple breakfast burritos. I'm gonna stop down here, put some fuel on grab a cup of coffee and uh, head to the house and we'll close this video out in the shop just like we started it all right y'all have a great weekend thanks for following this long and god bless you bye-bye